Let's take a look at subnets. And a subnet is a logical division of an address space. So we just looked at address spaces. So we're cutting it up one step further. And subnets help you define different kinds of workloads and allows you to apply virtual isol isolation within your network. So when you launch an Azure resource, you choose the subnet you want to launch with within, and an IP from that subnet is assigned to your resource. So uh, the thing is, is that uh, when you create route tables, that's how you are associating uh, the subnet so it can access uh, the internet or access anything. Uh, and then there's public and private subnets. But this thing is interesting because, like again, if, you, if you're using AWS, uh, those are very clearly defined things. But in Azure, uh, they don't have this concept of public and private. You have to define it yourself. So really, a public or private subnet is just a subnet that doesn't have access to the internet. And so we saw that when we had the route table and we over over uh, uh, rode, um the access to the internet to none, that ma essentially made it a private subnet. Uh, another thing you can do with subnets is you, you can associate a network security group, and this is going to help protect uh, protect your traffic entering and leaving the subnet. So you're making rules based on the IP address, port, and protocol. Uh, and then there's a special thing called a gateway subnet. So uh, it's a specialized uh, type of subnet, and it's just for Azure Virtual Network Gateways. Uh, and so um, it's interesting. You'll go in, and there'll be a, a separate section just for it, and so you'll create it. It's just for that service.